challenge, and if so, how? I think they have the potential to do that, but the question is going to be, are they going to be given the powers by central government? I mean, this whole debate is framed by Boris Johnson in London, who has considerable powers over almost everything you want to think about, skills, transport, uh, things like that. What's on offer at the moment for some of our cities is something rather less than that. That's not to say that with um, persuasion and with the authority of being elected that uh, these mayors can't make some difference, but it wouldn't have helped if we could actually get more power for the elected mayors. Brilliant. And one of the criticisms of local authority mayors is that in some cases their economy will stretch beyond their administrative boundaries, making it hard for these mayors to drive the local economy as a whole. Do you recognise this criticism and what would be your solution? I do recognise the criticism and my solution is Metro Mayors. I mean, if you take Manchester as an example, uh, it's a very, the borders of Manchester are incredibly restricted. Manchester City for, uh, supporters always sort of say we're the only club in Manchester because Manchester United is actually in traffic. Uh, Salford is, is very nearby. And it's, it's a wider argument than that even, even, even beyond Greater Manchester and, uh, and, and, and Birmingham as well. It's a travel to work area. Uh, this is really what our administrative boundaries should be based on. It's where people actually travel from and to. And if it's not possible to go in for a wholesale reorganisation of local government, which makes people sort of reach for smelling salts, then there must be ways of trying to find a way of having metropolitan mayors because that's actually what is required. And finally, do you think that's a danger that too much power might rest in one person's hand? That's the danger, and that is why local councillors have acted as a sort of dead hand, a drumbeat of negativity against this. It's partly self-preservation, because they see their influence waning under that, and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and also a, a genuine uh, fear that somebody, there's been a lot of conversation that uh, sort of all sorts of oddballs could actually get elected to mayor on some highly populist slogan, and, and they'd be completely inappropriate people for the day-to-day -day humdrum running of a city. Um, but I think local councils could be won round by telling them that they'd have a real role in scrutinising these elected mayors, which would actually give them a role and also answer the point that you make about them being uh, very unaccountable.